Hello and welcome to another video. My name is Runner XBT, and today we will talk about Coinbase Advanced. In this video, I'll walk you through all the benefits, how to set up your account and API access, and connect to Insilico Terminal, and how I'll trade on Coinbase Advanced with our fund that I manage. If you're active in crypto, you've probably heard of Coinbase. Coinbase Advanced is just like name suggests, the more advanced version of Coinbase. What it allows you to do is trade perpetual futures, for example, which I feel like is the information that is still under the radar for a lot of people. If you want to take advantage of the benefits that I'll mention in this video, you can sign up with the first link in the description or a pinned tweet on my Twitter account. If not, that's completely fine as well. Uh, just a disclaimer, I'm compensated by Coinbase through a referral link, so just wanted to put it out there. So let's talk about the perk and benefits. There are lots of them um, that you would get for signing up with my referral link. So let's start with those. You get these perks even if you have existing Coinbase account or if you do not have an account yet. So if you had a Coinbase account maybe for five years, this still does apply to you. So the perks, 0% uh, trading fees on perpetuals on both maker and taker. Yes, they're actually zero. There is no catch. They are truly 0%. You also get $40, $40 for making your first perpetual trade and $40 once you trade above $10,000 volume. If you're not based in European Union, uh, there is a 4.35% USDC yield on USDC holdings. So if you hold USDC and you might have a limit order, opened, you want to buy Bitcoin 10% uh, lower, you would still earn yield on that USDC. And also, uh, you can literally use me as your personal go to guy if you need anything resolved with Coinbase, maybe that's KYC or anything of that matter. I'm more than happy to connect you with the right person to make sure you're treated like uh, a VIP. And just last repetition, uh, this does apply to even if you have account on Coinbase already, all you need is to do uh, is to log out from your Coinbase account, click the first link in the description, log in again, and you should be all set. Realistically, the 0% trading fees on perps is unseen. I've traded and tried almost every exchange out there. And unless you're like a VIP nine doing multiple billion dollars of monthly volume, you're never ever going to get anything close to this deal. When it comes to spot fees, I'm going to link this tweet from earlier this year, but to keep it short, Coinbase is happy to upgrade you for a 60 day fee upgrade. If you can submit proof of trading volume, this could be also interesting uh, to some of you and fee fees can get as low as 0% for maker on spot. So let's look at, let's look at Coinbase advance itself and a bit of walkthrough. Okay. So your Coinbase advance on desktop will look like this. At the left is all the navigation that you'll need, as you can see here. And at the very bottom, you can turn on and off Coinbase Advanced. Honestly, I would probably not touch this at all. Just keep Coinbase Advanced on at all times. So let me quickly go over all of these buttons and some useful tips and tricks. Um, so first of all, we have spot, which will look like this. Uh, this is where you can trade spot. At the top, you can see trade as low as 0% maker and 0.05% taker fee. If you click on learn more, so let me do that. It takes me here and on the right side, you can apply with the proof of doing volume from other exchanges, as I mentioned just a while ago. And again, I'm more than happy to assist you with this and make sure your quest is being taken care of fast and get much, much better and very competitive fees. Second is derivatives. This is where you would trade your futures. At the top, you can see funding rates. Um, what is interesting about Coinbase Advance, the tr um, funding fees are <clears throat> every hour. On a lot of exchanges, it's eight hours or four hours. On the right hand, you have trading execution tab. As you can see, I currently have 89, 89 USDC in this, in this uh, portfolio. So I can go ahead and transfer a little bit more funds just to show you how it's being used. So I'm gonna talk about portfolios in a little while, but there's you can have multiple portfolios. So I can have some of the USDC from default portfolio. 
send it to my perpetuals portfolio and vice versa, obviously. So let me go ahead and do it the exact opposite and I'm gonna move 200 to USDC. Perfect, so now I, now I have the 200 extra. Not only I can uh, move around to USDC, but I can also do Bitcoin and ETH, which is pretty important for me personally. Those who've been following me for some time now know that um, we like to denominate most in Bitcoin. So while trading on Coinbase Advance, we'll be using Bitcoin as collateral uh, for the most part. Now, if I was to open a position, just to set an example, currently set at zero X leverage cross uh, cross collateral. Let me type, go ahead with type 10. Oh, wow. You can see here like the rundown of the things and you can see fees are actually 0% maker and 0% taker. Let's move on, let's move on to portfolio. In portfolio is where you can see all your total balances and your portfolios in general. I like to think of portfolios as like equivalent of a sub accounts because later in this video, uh, you'll see I'll be able to set up API keys and access to in silico terminal connected to individual individual portfolios. So right now I have default perpetual and I can easily create new one. Orders is where you see history of your orders, fills and fees overview. And you can also generate statement if you need. I feel like this page is pretty self-explanatory, so I'll just move on. And lastly, API. This is where we will set up our access to in silico terminal. So before we start generating API keys, you will need to register on in silico. So you can do that. It is completely free. And sign up link is also in the description if you do not have account there already. After you log into your default in silico will look like this. In top left corner, you can click on this button. And as you can see, I don't have any account. So let me go ahead and click add account. And now there will be several easy to follow steps. Obviously we have to follow, uh, sorry, we have to pick Coinbase Advanced. And now um, I'll just make sure this is easy to follow. So first of all, you need to, you need to copy the IP whitelist with this button. And we go ahead and go back to Coinbase and create, create API keys. Let's name this for this example runner. And I want to link this with the portfolio, which I was talking about uh, previously as being the equivalent of sub accounts. I'm going to link it to perpetuals and you need to make sure that these two are clicked. So you need to have view on and trade execute trades on your behalf. And I'm going to copy paste this just copy and paste. And now we can follow up with create and download. Now it will, um, you need to complete your two factor authorization. So let me do that. And you'll get this pop-up that will prompt you to save the document. I highly encourage you to do so. And after that is done, you have a long set of information, um, but it's fairly easy, I promise. So API key name, you just cop click copy and go back to in silico. That will stand for API key slash ID. So just copy that back to Coinbase private key, literally just copy here again, paste it in your secret key and the name will be what you picked for the name. In this video, I'm going with runner. So I'm going to go with runner and connect. Okay, great. Now we have the account ready. I'll click save. Okay, great. So now our Coinbase Advance account has been successfully added to in silico and in top left corner, again, you can click on this drop down menu and pick, I just added this account called runner. First thing I'd like to do is add my favorite pairs um, as favorites so that I can have them easily available um, at all times. Since I'll trade mostly perps on Coinbase Advance and I'm a boring trader who trades mostly majors, I'll add let's say top 10, top 10 coins uh, to my favorites. So let me do that. How you do that is easy. You could go over here, click and 
I've already done it before, but let me sh demonstrate this again. Uh, so this is all how we, the silico terminal will look like. You go click on the whatever you want to trade. I want to be on Coinbase and I want to go with perps since again, that is what I'll be trading. And I'll have Coinbase, perps, and I want to add Ethereum. I want to add Bitcoin. I want to add Solana, XRP, and maybe Doge. And as you can see now, they're in the top right corner, sorry, in the top uh, navigation bar. So I can just easily swap between them if needed. Uh, okay, uh, another great feature about Insilico that you can almost fully customize your working space. So let me go ahead and play around a bit to give you some idea how you could utilize it yourself. I highly encourage you to play around with the settings and customize it, uh, the terminal as much as possible to fit your needs. I'll show you some of my personal favorite in a second. So maybe maybe you have a laptop or you have an extra monitor that you can play around. So as you can see, you can fully uh, customize. Maybe you want to have a chart, uh, which would be big. I personally like to keep it just about average. However, I do not want to see trades, so I can just completely ditch it. Maybe I want to have order book a bit smaller. Uh, but also there's a lot of settings uh, that you can change. For example, grouping, that it can be very, very useful. So for BTC, maybe we want to do like 20. But you get the point. It's a lot of it is customizable. Uh, you can move things around as much as you want, as, as as you like, which I think is pretty cool. So I want to also quickly go over some useful settings that I utilize and I think could be very useful to you too, hopefully. And the settings are in this button very right here. So let's start with general settings. First button is extremely useful. I'm not going to read it out loud, uh, not to get banned from YouTube. I leave this button unchecked because there might be scenarios where it can save you from a disaster. They might be actually very useful in a scenario like yesterday where some of the altcoins had a correction of 20 to 50% and you might have had like a lot of resting limit orders trying to buy the dip. But if you click the button in time, you could have prevented a lot of losses by canceling these orders. So what I'm referencing is this very button, when you click everything, all the limit orders across all pairs would remove in time, which can be, which is borderline impossible to do it manually uh, to save yourself from the disaster. So I have it unchecked. Hide values and sizes everywhere can also be useful. Uh, if I turn this on and click save, you can see, uh, you don't, you cannot see my position size. You cannot see my Unreal SPNL is just, just percentage and liquidation is hidden as well. This can be, uh, this can be great for screenshots if you don't want to dox your PNLs or liquidation levels, but it can also be turned off here with the privacy button. So if I do this, you can see it shows nothing apart from entry and mark. So let me turn it on for the, for now. Uh, now more settings with orders. Fat finger protection can be very useful to avoid placing too large of a positions by accident, depending on how much trading collateral you have, obviously. Um, maybe if you have 100,000 in your account, you want to make sure you don't, fat finger would be like half a million. But again, this is uh, very discretionary. Everybody has their own <laughs> risk parameters, if you will. And as for the other two options, I like to keep them turned on at all times uh, because I'll turn them off first and I'll explain what they do. So right now I can be trading BTC and I can type 0 0.01 and I'll see the USDC here. But if I turn these on first, uh, so orders, turn these on, I can now either do that or just type in USDC. So for me personally, I just prefer typing things like this. Uh, it makes it life a bit easier with Bitcoin and ETH. It's not that difficult, uh, but I'm just, my brain is able to operate better in USD terms. If I'm about to long like 200,000, 21, 300 XRP, it can cost me a few seconds of thinking that uh, doesn't, I don't like doing that. Um, more useful settings. Uh, when it comes to notifications, I like to suppress notifications. It is like these little pop-ups with each order and every step you make. Uh, I think makes the experience a lot, a lot better. And with positions, I like to have legacy buttons turned on because um, if I turn it off, you can see this is this part over here, which I turn it on again. 
you can see I have market and limit. I just prefer it uh, like that. If I'm panicking, I usually go for market. It's the same thing from here, but up to you. I also personally use Klee and trade via my stream deck, uh, but I'm happy to make that as like a separate video or walkthrough to keep this one fairly short. And honestly, that's pretty much it. Um, that was it for this video. If you'd like to try Coinbase Advance and take advantage of the perks with my referral link, it is the first link in the description below. Thank you, and I'm curious to hear your suggestion, and I'm more than happy to make more walkthroughs. Have a good day.